Hello friends, this video on combustion and flame part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the third criteria that is heat. Why is heat needed for combustion? Now before we talk about it, let us think of some simple scenarios. So think of the math stick. How does a math stick catch fire? Does the math stick catch fire on its own? No, we need to put in some effort. What do we do? We have to strike the match stick against the rough surface of the match box. So only when we do that, it catches fire. Why do we strike it? And why is that needed? That is because when we strike the match stick with the match box, there is friction. And friction produces heat. And when this heat is produced, it increases the temperature of the match stick. And when the temperature increases, it catches fire. So basically what this example tells is any combustible substance catches fire only when its temperature reaches ignition temperature. Now you might ask what is ignition temperature? So we will talk about it just now. So it basically means that it is not that any substance will catch fire just any time on its own wish, wish. So the substance will catch fire only when its temperature reaches a particular temperature. So in order to, in order that the temperature reaches that temperature, it has to be provided some heat. Only then the temperature will rise. And that is why heat is needed for combustion. So ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire. Now ignition, the word ignition has come from ignited. To ignite something or to burn something or to make something catch fire, that is ignition. Now this temperature is not same for different substances. Every substance will have its own ignition temperature. There will be some substances which will have very low ignition temperature. So low ignition temperature means they will very easily catch fire because already the ignition temperature is low. It is like your passing marks. For example, in your school, the passing marks is 40 out of 100. In another school, the passing marks is 30 out of 100. So if the passing marks is lower, if it is 30, then it is easier to pass. If the passing marks is say 60, then it is more difficult to pass. In a similar way, if the ignition temperature is very less, it is very easy for that substance to catch fire because the, that temperature where it gets ignited is very less. If the ignition temperature of a substance is very high, then it will not catch fire easily. Right? So what do we say is substances with low ignition temperature catch fire more easily. So now I think you will be able to understand why do we need to strike the math stick because when you strike the math stick friction is involved and friction produces heat and this heat increases the temperature of the math stick so that it is able to reach its ignition temperature. Now you might ask is the math stick a combustible substance? Of course because if you look at the head of the math stick it is, it is made you do you know what is one of the most important constituent of the head of a uh, math stick? It is phosphorus and phosphorus is highly reactive. It reacts very violently with air to catch fire. So now it is not only phosphorus which is present small amounts of sulfur and potassium chloride is also present. So we will discuss about how exactly math stick works uh, a little later. So for now you should just understand that heat is important for combustion. So a substance will not catch fire or it will not undergo combustion on its own. So every substance will have an ignition temperature. Now and in order that the substance reaches that ignition temperature, external heat needs to be applied to that substance. So this is how we found that three criteria are very important for combustion to take place. That is a combustible substance, heat and air. So let us look at some more examples of uh, different substances with different ignition temperatures. So if you look at this uh, screen, you see on one, the first example, you see paper is the combustible substance. And in the second example, you see wood is the combustible substance. Now, 
which of these do you think catch fire easily? So if you bring a small match stick which is burning near a piece of paper, what do you see? It immediately catches fire. Why? Because the ignition temperature of paper is comparat comparatively lower. Now since the ignition temperature is lower, it as soon as you provide little bit of heat by bringing the burning matchstick near it, it reaches its ignition temperature and it catches fire. Whereas if you consider few logs of wood and if you take a tiny matchstick near that, it might not readily catch fire. Whereas if you take this burning piece of paper in front of these logs of wood, then it will catch fire because that entire burning paper will give more heat, will provide more heat to the wood. So and because the ignition temperature of wood is little higher, so they need more heat to reach that ignition temperature. So if you actually look at the values, ignition temperature of wood is somewhere around 300 degrees Celsius and the ignition temperature of paper is somewhere around 218 to 245 degrees Celsius. So that's how roughly the ignition temperatures are for paper and wood. So whichever object will have a lower ignition temperature will easily catch fire. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.